Hey guys, today so I'm in Substance Painter 2018 and I'm going to show you how to import photo textures or textures or things that would have some colour information and be able to paint that onto your object. So what you can start off by doing is if you've got the, the item that you want, I've just imported a simple sort of box that I had from something else in from a 3D program. We can go as long as you've got your shelf open. If you haven't got your shelf, it might be on the right hand side here. You can go to import resources. You can go to add resources. You can find the texture that you wanted. You can click the drop down on undefined and set this to a texture. And you can choose your import setting. So I will just import it to my current setting because I don't need anything else. I'll press import and you'll see that there's my texture here. And as, an, as a core example, what we can do is we can add a normal fill layer. And then from there, we can add these textures to specific slots, just as you would with any different texture map. So say we drag this texture and we put it into our base color, you would see that it would put it in into our base color directly onto our object. So we could essentially change the UV scale if we wanted some sort of strange wallpaper or something on the object, depending on how you've done your UVing. It will be dependent on how it will look. You can adjust your rough, roughness values and things as required. But if you want to actually be able to paint specifically onto an area that you want, you can add yourself a normal paint layer, which is at the top, which is just add layer. And then what we're going to do is I will go look at this front face here. And then on this left hand side here, we'll go to something called projection and we'll go to projection. And once that's on, you can see that they almost the backgrounds grayed out slightly and we can drag our object into the base color slot again, because that's what we might want to paint onto. And then I could make my brush size bigger. For instance, what we can do is we can just interact this as if it was a stencil. So if we hold S, we'll be able to, with a right click of the mouse, scale it up and down, depending on what we might like. So, and hold the middle mouse button in just to pan this to a position that we might want. I can let go and then I can choose to paint this on with this color information that I'm required. So I can left click and I can start painting on my object with the exact information that we wanted and the exact position. Yes, it will have painted on the different areas, but if you masked this actual area off, so if I just, let's say, add a black mask to this area and go to polygon fill, UV chunk fill, and just click on the front, you will see that it's just masked to this area. And then you can adjust your roughness on um, a fill layer or something above which you can add. So there you go. You can see we've been able to add our stencil. So what I'll do as another example, I'll go to the side of this box. And what I'll do is I'll create another paint layer. What we can do is we can call this side just to keep it together. We can right click, add a new black mask, um, keep on the UV chunk fill, left click on that area and we'll mask off. And as you can see, the mask has happened. We can click back on our layer again, make sure, make sure that we're on projection, which we are. What we can do is press S and right click and we can scale our, maybe map a little bit more down to say like this. We can choose to then left click and paint as we'd expect, but I'm sort of slightly getting the edges. So I'll pull this up just so when I'm painting, I don't get any extra areas that I don't want like so. I'll maybe scale my brush down slightly and then I can just paint across as required, just like before. So we can see that we're painting the stencil straight onto the actual object itself. And then we can go back to the normal brush tool and you can see there it's painted on as we expected. And it's only on the back because my UV is the same on the front as it is the, the back and on the sides. So they share a map like that. So we've managed to bring in our photo texture and we've just been able to paint the stencil straight onto the object in Substance Painter. So this is quite helpful if you're trying to do something specific with an image or something that you directly with color information want to apply to your object. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.